Good afternoon traders. It's just after the four o'clock close on the 21st on Tuesday. Um, today we had an interesting development. We thought this morning first thing that already the uh, longs had had a solid drive to the long side for the last three days, last uh, two and a half days. So we we're looking for shorts today uh, even if they took out that high, we felt that the next range up, that, that 08, we're going to keep as our resistance and hopefully take a shot at a short and see if we couldn't come back and close the half gap and perhaps even the gap. Uh, as it turned out, this double at 95 gets washed out. So that was the good fortune part, taking out this chop and getting down into the 91s and closing the gap and the bounces subsequently all day long really never amounted to much. They were pretty wimpy, weak bounces and we thought if we could get back in and test that 88.75 to 87.5 we've done well. Um, potential targets this afternoon could have been into the 86.85 test but we we thought that the best thing to do was just play it conservatively and assume that uh, was more or less range type trading. Since there was no real contra during the day, we felt in the afternoon, look for a contra. Somebody's going to look to take profits. So that was uh, the dynamics that we were looking for today. Zeke said, we're going for the half gap and gap. He was pretty confident. I was less confident than he was. I thought that perhaps they could jam us first for a couple of points. So we were prepared to take several entries to, without being stubborn to try to come back in and and neutralize some of this egregious push from uh, from this gap up. And in looking at the rotations, we felt that the most important thing that we could do today would be to keep in mind that once we came south side, we wanted to remember that 97 and a quarter the previous days uh, high and use that as our resistance zone. As long as we were under that, we felt we could make the rotations lower to come down and, and hopefully test um, uh, the lows, knock them out, and perhaps go down to, into the, the mid 80s. So end of day we had said make sure you're paid, make sure you're flat into this rotation, respect this high if you're long and short, respect this low and figure somewhere in between near a doji type close would be what the boys were perhaps looking to do. And uh, the day today uh, opened up at 89 and a half, so we wanted to use that on a coming back into our uh, angel. This bar is the angel. Uh, make sure you paid coming in here if you were short end of day. I had posted this chart earlier. We thought this was our key resistance zone. We thought this should be our support zone, range trading in between. Remember that 97 and a quarter idea. Old people like me do that to remind myself that that's uh, something I want to pay attention to as the day develops. Got to get back into the previous day's range and then try to take out significant lows. And then look to the next ones, this 84, 85 area, big idea of support um, before tackling down here into the 81s, 82s. So we wanted to undermine this a bit. We did not think we were going to come roaring down here today. We just felt if we could undermine it, um, all of the aggressive longs today got caught. And after this long push, this, this uh, 87 is basically a 40% pullback from that low. So that was why we said, let's, let's be conservative and think about exiting into that 87, 88 area. And this was a pre-market post, one of the better shake and bakes. Uh, we got a overnight range, came up double top tested up here obviously with last week's high. And then the pullback, uh, obviously a 10 pointer already coming back. When This morning when I woke up it was very choppy, not a whole lot to do. And the idea here was probably everybody's calculating the upside target, so let's think maybe a regression tr type trade. Come back in, test last year's high, 88.75, and whatever we can get in between there. And obviously this launch, 84 and a quarter yesterday, our TH low. And we want to take a look at this structure right here. We want to go back and look back a few days and see where some traders may interpret this as an inverted head and shoulders uh, platform. 
Uh, I like to see these eventually broken, but for now, I certainly have to respect that idea. And that was the idea of why we had that 87 and a quarter um, here on our charts. There's also a significant level on a monthly level. So we wanted to understand this as potentially a support zone in between that 84 and, and perhaps this 89 and respect it. So markets just closed at that 91 and a half area. Um, I thought yesterday I said perhaps the 92s would become pivotal and close enough for government work. All right, this is E signing off. Hope you guys had a great day today and hope this uh, helps shed a little bit of light on the things we are looking at. Take care.